Hello smart civil engineers, I am engineer Masroor and you are watching your own YouTube channel engineering network. I am back with another very important video. So dear friends, in this video lecture, I will teach you about how to find number of steel bars in slab. So friends, this video is very important for civil engineering students and I will teach you the whole process using a very simple and easy method and after watching this video completely you will also be able to find the number of steel bars in slab. Right? Now before we start I request you that please like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for daily interesting civil engineering videos. So let's start. Ok, so the topic for today's video lecture is how to find number of steel bars in slab. Now dear friends, as you know that in slab we use two types of steel bars, right? One is main bar and second one is distribution bars. Ok? So I will find number of both main bars and distribution bars in this video lecture. Now let's suppose we have a slab as you can see on your screen. The length of this slab is 8 meter and width of the slab is 6 meter. Ok? The diameter of both main bars and distribution bars used in this slab is 16 mm and these bars are placed at 125 mm center to center distance which means that the spacing between two bars is 125 mm. Ok? Now what is main bars and what is distribution bars? So first let me explain these two terms, right? Now basically main bars are those bars which are placed along the length of the slab and distribution bars are those bars which are placed along the width of the slab, ok? Now if you look at this RCC slab right here, so this is the length of the slab so main bars will be placed in this direction, right? And this is the width of the slab, so distribution bars will be placed along this direction, ok? So this is a very simple concept of both main bars and distribution bars in slab. Now I will find the number of main bars and distribution bars for this slab. So first is the main bars. Now the formula is number of main bars is equal to length of slab divided by spacing plus 1. Ok? So here length of slab is 8 meter and spacing is 125 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.125 meter. Right? Now let me put these values in the above formula and after putting the values and doing simple calculation, I will get the total number of main bars which is equal to 65. So total number of main bars for this slab is 65. Now for distribution bars, we have the same formula which is number of distribution bars is equal to width of the slab divided by spacing plus 1. Now here I have take the width of the slab because as I said at the start of this video lecture, the distribution bars will be placed along the width of the slab. Ok? So here I will take width of the slab. Right? Now we know that the width of the slab is 6 meter and spacing is 125 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.125 meter. Ok? So let's put these values in the above formula and after putting it in doing simple calculation, I will get the total number of distribution bars which is equal to 49, right? So now I can say that for this 8 meter lengthy 
and 6 meter wide slab, I will need to provide 65 number of main bars and 49 number of distribution bars. Ok? Now here let me give you guys a simple homework as well. So the homework is, a house slab is constructed whose length is 20 meter and width is 12 meter. The diameter of steel bars used in the slab is 16 millimeter and spacing between steel bars is 150 millimeter. Calculate the total number of main bars and distribution bars. Right? So please share your answers with me in the comment section. So dear friends, I hope you would find this video informative. So please like this video, share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for more daily interesting civil engineering videos. See you guys in the next video.